Today we're going to be showing that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. In order to begin, I'm going to start by creating a parallelogram. This is Move, move Graphics View. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'll start by creating a parallelogram. So I've got um, a line and a point below it. I'm going to create two of the sides of my parallelogram and then use the Parallel Line tool. It says Select a Point and Parallel Line. So I do this all the time, so I kind of go fast. Now I'm going to intersect. And now I'm going to create my parallelogram with a polygon tool always in the counterclockwise direction. And I'm going to change the color. And now I'm going to check to make sure this is a parallelogram because parallelograms, for every parallelogram, the opposite angles are congruent. And that is true. So let me remove some of these lines. And I think on this one, I think I'm just going to do show label. There we go. So let's show what we're going to prove today. Let me move this over and and I guess we'll, we're going to remove our graph and axis. There we go. Our axis, I just removed it. Now let's go for this and we're going to say that we're proving opposite si both pairs of opposite sides of opposite sides are congruent in a parallelogram. There we go. So we, you could do the flow chart because that's how they do it in the notes, but we're going to go with the, the two column proof because it's a little bit easier to see for me. So let's go right down statements. And we're going to put on the side the reasons. And we are first off, we are given is what our first line of every proof is, is what's given. And we're given that um, parallelogram ABC, ABDC. And I'm reading those letters um, in the clockwise direction. And if you can't see the letters, I'll move them over a little bit. So our next line that we're going to do is we're going to say that the definition of a parallelogram what is the definition of a parallelogram the opposite sides are parallel meaning they have the same slopes but we're just going to mark that using our pen tool And now we're going to do a construction because I'm ultimately, that's what we're going to do right here. Ultimately, I'm going to be showing the top and the bottom triangles are congruent. So let's go and make our construction right now and we're going to label it. And it's going to be construction. And we're just going to draw diagonal AD. And AD is equal to itself. So we're going to write that down. This is very important, this step, because for the postulate, the side, um, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side, they always have at least one side. So um, this is the reflexive property. So we have to have at least one side, so let's mark it. This side is equal to itself. Now because these two lines are parallel, and this is a transversal, the alternate interior angles are congruent. I, I can go ahead and measure them. I have to make sure I go the right direction. Those are alternate interior angles. I'm not going to show them. I'm just going to mark them. Um, but I have them marked right now. And, and this is a construction. So no matter how much I move this, this is always going to be true. So I'm not going to show them right now. I'm just going to mark them. So let's label them as, well, let me put a segment here. Let's label these angles as angle. It's a little tricky to get these angles in. D. AB is congruent to angle ADC. 
Similarly, because these two are, are parallel, we have these um, alternate interior angles. So let me mark those alternate interior angles that are congruent. These are also alternate interior angles. So let's label those. So angle CAD is congruent to angle BDA. And those are all alternate interior angles. Now we have enough information to say the top triangle and the bottom triangle are congruent. So let's write that in. That's going to be the angle side angle postulate. And this is going to, you have to make sure you put your letters in the right order. Triangle ADC is congruent to triangle well, A's got two slash marks, so it's going to be D, A, B. And the last line is what we're proving, and this is going to be because of C, P, C, T, C. C, P, C, T, C, which is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And let's go make sure that this is true because when you do this, the first, what we're trying to show is A to B, which are the last two letters, is congruent to the last two letters. So we do have this right. So the last two letters are um, DC is congruent to um, AB. And we'll put the lines right over them. And similarly, let's make sure these two are right. Um, we want to show A, C. A and C, the last two letters, are congruent to the B um, and D, the first and last letter. So that's exactly right. That's awesome. A, C is congruent to D, B. And this is exactly what we're trying to show in this proof. And we just proved using the angle side angle postulate that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Thank you for watching.